Hi everyone, Bria here from Extra Actuarial, and did you know that there are actually only two technical skills that you really need to know if you want to be a top candidate for actuarial positions? Okay, so first, I'm sure you've heard of all these different programs and languages that you supposedly need to know. You've probably heard Excel. You need to know that for data analysis and summarization. You need to know VBA to automate tasks in Excel. You need to know SAS and R for statistical analysis and data visualization. You need to know Python for automating tasks in Excel, but also non-Excel tasks. You need to know it for data analysis and so much more. You've probably heard that you need to know access for database management and reporting and maybe SQL for pulling and editing and adding information to databases. There are so many things that people say aspiring actuaries need to know, but it's just not true. You don't need to know them all. You only need to know two, and that is Excel and VBA. Those two things should be your highest priority as you're working on becoming a top candidate for actuarial position. And the reason for that is because every single actuarial employer, okay, well, maybe not every single actuarial employer, just like 99.9999999% of them are going to want you to know how to use Excel and VBA. So Excel is a tool that I'm sure you're familiar with, has lots of ability to analyze data and report and all that kind of stuff. VBA is a tool or a programming language that you can use to automate tasks in Excel. Since you're using Excel all the time on the job, and I used Excel every single day when I was working, and because of that, I also had to use VBA. It's inevitable. You're just going to have to use VBA. So that's why you need to know both of them together, but all those other languages out there that you've heard of, all those other programs you've heard of, those are not necessarily used in every single actuarial role. And that's why I don't suggest you focus on them. Focus on the things that every single employer are going to require. There are better things that you can be using your time on than learning a whole bunch of programs and coding languages that you might not even ever use. Okay, so I hope you agree with me on that. You're going to focus your time on Excel and VBA. So how do you learn these things and how do you make sure you're good enough for an actuarial role? Okay, well, first you've got to take a course. If you're a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, we have nine courses in there that go through everything you need to know to go from the very beginning of Excel all the way to advanced Excel and even into VBA. That's all in the Actuary Accelerator community. And if you're not a member already, I'll link it down below in the description so you can go check it out. Also down there in the description, I'm going to put a link to a list that you can download of all the Excel functions that you need to know as an aspiring actuary. That's going to give you an in-depth list of what functions you need to make sure you know. And I teach them all in that course too. Okay, after you've taken your course, then you actually start having to apply what you've learned in the course to real world situations, okay? Just taking a course is not enough. And so many people put a course in Excel or a course in VBA on their resume, but that's not going to attract employers' attention. They want to see more. They want to know that you can apply what you've learned in that course to real world situations. So that's why after you've taken a course, I recommend you start doing some projects. And if you're a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, there are some projects in there as well that you can do after you've gone through the course. Projects are really going to help you learn how to apply what you learned in the course to real world situations because it's not always easy. When you're following a course, you're kind of just following along and it's very easy to do that. It's easy to follow along. But when you actually have to figure out how to do things for yourself, it can be a whole lot more difficult. So that's why course first and then do some projects so you really learn how to apply those skills. Once you've done some projects, next is to actually start doing this in the real world, applying your knowledge to projects that are real world projects and getting paid for it, hopefully. So. 
how could you do this? If you're in a job right now where you could start applying Excel and VBA into your job in your current role, that will be ideal. This is actually what I did. I was working as a bookkeeper for many years before I got my actuarial position. And I started to incorporate more and more Excel and VBA into my position. And that gave me a lot of real world applicable knowledge of Excel. And I was able to put that onto my resume to really prove to employers that not only had I taken a course, not only have I done projects, but I've also used my skills in the real world. You could also try talking to any business owners you know um, and see if there are some projects that you could complete for them to help them out. You could volunteer your time. There are sometimes positions available that involve Excel. So you could see if you can find any positions like that in your area. Another possibility is freelancing. So you could go on a freelancing website and see if there are people on there that want to hire you for your skills in Excel and VBA. And then you can start doing projects for them. And those can go on your resume. And it's really going to help prove your skills to actuarial employers. So, so, so much better than just a course. Once you have these skills, you really have to show them off. Like really, really you have to show them off. You can't just assume that employers know you have Excel and VBA skills. You have to tell them again and again and again. You have to emphasize it on your resume. And we talk about how to do that in the Actuary Accelerator community. You have to emphasize your skills during interviews. And again, we talk about how to do that in the Actuary Accelerator community. If employers ask about other tech skills that you might not have, then that's when you're going to talk about how you are a quick learner and you pick up things fast. Of course, if that's true, you want to talk about how it's fairly easy to transfer the skills, you know, in Excel and VBA to other areas, other programs and languages. You also want to talk about how you're a self learner and that you'd be happy to go and learn those different programs or languages during your own time, your personal time after the interview or before you start, would start to work, something along those lines, so that they know you are willing to put in the effort to learn the specific programs that they need in the workplace, if it's above and beyond Excel and VBA. So if you are excited to start learning Excel and VBA, or if you already know Excel and or VBA, then give this video a thumbs up right now, thumbs up, or give it a like. And in the comments, let me know what you think. Do you love Excel or do you hate it? Do you love programming or do you hate it? When I was working in actuarial positions, I loved this part of my job. It was probably one of my favorite parts, learning Excel and just using it all the time and programming. I absolutely loved that, but I know not everyone loves that. So let me know about you down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Oh, and don't forget to go download that list of Excel functions that you need to know as an aspiring actuary. Okay, that's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye.